Amém. Not overcome of evil, but overcome evil 
rendered me possible. As much as lying in you. Had nothing to do with the next person. You hold the light. As much as lying in you. You're peaceable with all men. And so he speaks to us very lovingly. He said, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give space unto wrath. Sometimes you might have to leave the house. That's right. In order to keep from fighting. Amen. For it is written, listen, mm -hmm. vengeance mm -hmm. is mine. Mm -hmm. I will repay. Mm -hmm. Who said that? The Lord. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if I am your hunger, feed me. If he thirsts, give him drink. When do, in doing so, thou shalt he cools the fire on his head. Uh -huh. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Talk for just a moment about your response. Your response. Regardless of how people treat you. You have a choice. It's how you respond. You give honor to my Lord and say, I'm a preacher, a musician, a scholarship, a speaker, a survivor, a submission, a saint. To all of you in your respectable places. Thank you, I should see maybe see it. As much as life in you. But we got to hear the first part of verse 18. If it be possible. <laughs> now, some people you can pay your loan. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> some people just won't. Let you get a loan. All right, all right, all right. But the response for you, as much as not in you, you know yourself. You know you better than anybody else. Now you start to get on my way. Anybody ever have somebody on their way? They bad with you about the money they owe you. Right. <laughs> he said, if it be possible, when you respond to God's grace and belief in the Lord Jesus, that means you're born again. What happens is the Holy Spirit comes to dwell inside. The Spirit lives inside of us. Anybody say? He confirms his relationship, God. First of all, he covers you. And he leads you into all truth. Find us in the book of John, chapter 14, verses 16 and 17. Also, you'll find it in John 16 and 13. Also, the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. Let me back up just a moment. Y'all okay? Amen. Yeah. But you have not received the spirit of bondage. 
again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption. The spirit of abundance again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby, listen to Paul, we cry. I'm a father. That means you belong to the family of God. Anybody happy to be saved? Yeah. And from that moment, God began the supernatural work of reforming you into his image and of his son. We find that in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 29, of whom he foreknew. He also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among the brethren. So the confirmation of the reforming of the re uh, making of you has to deal with him sometimes putting you in the fire mm -hmm. and melting away all of the thing that should not be there. Yeah. And many times he would take the scammer and come across and move all the corruption, amen, off the top as you keep boiling. And, and, and he'll take time to look into the boiler. And if he can't see his own image, if you don't look like him, he continues to put fire under you. Okay. Because there are some things in our lives that God needs to work on. Anybody here need God to work on you? Yeah. I know I do. I, amen. And so when, when, when he put you in the fire, he don't want you to complain. Our response has to be, Lord, you know what's best. You know me better than anybody else. And any way you want to use me. Use the Lord. Yeah. And so God used tests and trials to develop your character and your ministry. He's not concerned about your comfort. He's concerned about your character. How you act. How you talk. The way you treat people. Can I get away with this See, he put tests. He, he begins to test you. Listen to what he said. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fire or trial. Yeah. That is, to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Mm -hmm. Listen to what he said. What is your response when God put pressure on you? Or he allow things to come into your family, allow things to come into your life, allow things to come on your job, put pressure on you. Hey, Amen. He's testing you. What is your response? Mm -hmm. It's not hard serving him when you got plenty of money in the bank. <laughs> and everything is going well. The car paid off, the rent paid, food. Right. Children doing well, getting in good health. Amen. There's nothing wrong with saying hallelujah. Amen. But can you rejoice yeah. when tribulation hit our life? Oh, yeah. What is our response? Yeah. What is our response? Listen, beloved, think it not straight. A whole lot of people thinking God is picking me out and he's picking on me. If he do it, that, that means you are somebody in his sight. He wants to get rid of all the impurities in your life that you might be a testimony for him. And so he brings problems, he brings trials, he tests us. Listen to what he says. Don't think it's strange. When those things come to try to let some strange thing happen unto you. What is your response? He says, in a Christian way, you ought to rejoice. Yeah. Listen, why? In so much as you are partakers yeah. of Christ's suffering. Yeah. 
Which means that if he went through something, yeah. you got to go through something. Yeah. Anybody had trials in the life? Yeah. And when you take on the cross, and uh, Jesus is not the only one that bears the cross. Yeah. There was an old song that said, Must Jesus bear the cross alone? And all this world goes free. No, bear the cross for everyone. Their cross for me. Listen to what Paul, Peter said, but when his glory shall be revealed, you shall let me glad also with exceeding joy. First Peter chapter 4, verses 12 and 13. But when his glory be revealed, when God brings you through that heartache and that pain, you can say hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for what you've done for me. Nobody did but you. And you ought to be happy. And if you're happy today, you ought to clap your hands. I need you to bow with me for a little while. All right. Listen to the trials and tests we are to encounter. Number one, there are going to be fiery trials. All right. Intense encounters are struggles. And there are times that you get burst with anger. We got to be careful there, but when he put these fiery trials on we become angry. Yeah, there are times you have to go through grief. And there are things that you haven't did in life, but yet it hits your house. Something the children do come back to your house. Put pressure on you. Some things people say on your job, amen, put pressure on you. And we got to be careful to be angry with people. Listen to the scripture. If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceable. They might have said it, but let it go. They might have called the problem, but it's going to lose the problem. Vengeance is mine. I will repay, said the Lord. So the Lord wants us to respond that God will take care of us. Amen. Amen. Fire trials mm -hmm. come to try you as though some strange thing happened. Job went through trouble. And Job had to learn to wait on God. Do I have any waiters in the house? Huh? Listen to what he said. As you wait, he said, wait on the Lord. Listen, here is your response. Be of what? Good courage. Saying, Lord, I don't know how you are going to do it. I don't know when you're going to take care of it, but when I look back over my life, you brought me through that. You brought me through that. And when mama left, you took care of it. When daddy left, you took care of it. When I didn't have enough food on the table, you fed me. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I'm waiting with great expectation.
calling in sick today. <laughs> You're speaking sickness over your life. Amen. I wish I had a witness here. <laughs> Sorry, trials. And I want you to know that all of us is going to encounter these things. Amen. You got to realize it doesn't matter how long you've been saved. Right. Right. Doesn't matter how filled you are with the Holy Spirit, right. you can shout every Sunday. Right. You're gonna have some fiery trials. Right. Can I get a witness? Right. Second, there are going to be some infirmities. What do you mean, Pastor? If you are born in this world, right. things will change. You can be 2020 through your youth, through your twenties, through your thirties, but things change. Anybody here have to wear glasses? Your eyesight is going to get dim. Your footsteps is going to get short. Anybody got some short steps around here? If now and then you got to get on a train and help yourself. Things will change. Infirmity, physical limitation. I don't care who you are, you can't do what you used to do. Stop now, I'm better now than I was when I was 20 years old. You're now. Have sickness in your life. Yeah. 
Amen. And I used to think, I'm going to move on. I used to think a man that had allergies was weak. But I found out I'm weak now. I used to laugh at my wife when she, and now she's sleeping on my, I'm up on the bed. You got to be careful how you pick that up before. But now I got it, amen. I'm looking for Advil. I'm looking for bad, amen. I'm looking for bad body and beyond, amen. Looking for something to help me along the way. Sickness is going to come. Fiery trials, infirmities, physical limitations, and illnesses. How do we respond? How do we respond when we get sick? Do we get angry? What have I done? It doesn't mean that you did anything. All right. All right. You live in this body, and this body is decaying. Yeah. Might not want to believe it. Every now and then, some pain yeah. is going to hit your body. Do I stop praying? Do I get angry with God? One thing we got to be is thankful. The third thing is reproaches. Sometimes you'll be ridiculed. And then there are times you will be rejected. Anybody ever had rejections? Yes. Yeah. You got people in your own church don't want to be bothered with you. Oh, yeah. Groups inside the church and you're trying to do all you can to help. But you're a different color. You're not of the same age. So you can't join in. There are times you'll be ridiculed for hey man, how you look. But God has blessed you. Come on, come on. And when people ridicule you and reject you, we got to understand that if I, God is your friend, yeah. because there are times where you want to be friends, but we got to understand that there is a better friend. Psalm said, what a friend. Anybody here know he'll be a good friend for you. And then there are daily necessities. There are responsibilities that every now and then you don't pay the bills right. Because of money is acting for you. But I got a good remedy for you, amen. If you pay God what belongs to him, anybody here know he'll open the windows, pour you out blessings that you don't have room to receive. Thank you, Lord. Don't look like I'm a finish when I got here, but the stresses. There are times you will be disappointed. And then there are deep hurts. They're going to come in your life. Yeah. Okay. Anybody ever had church hurt? Yeah. Yeah. There's no hurt like being hurt by people in your own church. Yeah. But I thank God that he's able yeah. to make a way for you. Yeah. You're going to be disappointed, but you got to respond in such a way to let God know that I trust you. I know you got my best interest at heart. 
I know you're going to make a way out of no way. And then there are times you're going to have tribulations in your life. Right. Unusual pressures and challenges. Well. Sometimes it look like, amen, things are just going wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> Unusual pressures and challenges. Yeah. But I come today to tell you the Lord is the shepherd. Yeah. 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 And you shall not more. Yeah. He's making me to lie down in green pastures. Leading me beside the still waters. Uh -huh. yeah. Every now and then he restored my soul. My soul. Yeah. And every time you got to tell him, put back that thing. Yeah. That put running in the feet. Yeah. And I put back that thing that put Clapping in my head. Yeah. And I restore unto me yeah. the joy of your salvation. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody hear me? God can put clapping in your head. Yeah. Anybody hear me? God can put running yeah. in your feet. Yeah. And now every now and then when trouble hits you, there was one thing he wants you to do. And I look back to where he brought you from. Yeah. You ought to look back now and say, Lord, you brought me from a mighty long time. Anybody here want to give God some praise from where he brought you from? It was early, early in the morning. I'm going to stand right here. Regardless of what people say about me and the rest. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
about tomorrow. And you're forgetting the sunshine that's shining on you right now. You got to be thankful for the sunshine right now. Living day by moment, this is where I am. And God is going to give me some patience. And patience worketh what? Experience. And you can tell somebody, listen. Experience is your best teacher. And you can avoid a lot of fails when you listen to people that have gone through some things. Can I get a witness? And now you can tell others how to take, take it easy. Slow yourself down. Don't have a panic attack. Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, Amen. You stay right there because God is going to deliver you out of your situation. You can tell somebody because hope. Anybody can say hope may be not a shame. That's what Paul is saying. Slow down in this Christian walk. Slow down on life journey. Take it easy. Don't get all excited when trouble hits your life. God is working to work in your life. He's bringing something out of you. Amen. Amen. How do I know? Amen. God is going to allow certain things to hit you. Amen. And he's going to test your faith in Amen. Amen. Listen to Peter. The trying of your faith. Working patience. Thank you. 